So Cloud Edge has released today the Cloud Edge Outpost 4.5, and you can see the parameters they have shown in here, which includes the identity coding capacity for 80.9 percent, which is highest in the world compared to GPT-5.1 and Gemini 3 Pro, and two UTS and their capacity. So for the better understanding, you can come to their page and read the announcement. I'm not going in details. I don't have time to do that, but just been released. And you can see the parameters that we see in software engineering 80% is far higher than I mean, GPT 5.1 code max and all those things. They made a wide range of data available for everyone including the elaborate writings which I understand but let, let me just go through identity capacity increase terminal increase identity tool use I, actually their identity code is best especially from the terminal mm, uh, compared to any others so multilingual scoring safety susceptibility to prompt injection style attacks you want cloud to developer port control product updates a lot i'm not going in details like uh, one of the major thing they are integrating with is the excel you can integrate with the chrome browser for the developer they have a set of things which includes like you can use new tools and a lot of things so i mean it's a huge leap for them and also if you go back in here they have written a set of instruction where they said that it's um, using far lower the tokens compared to the earlier versions that's that's a good thing because cloud in opus 4.1 was insane if you use the two or three prompt it will probably half kill you like it, the entire user's limit is finished so if you are using it for like a detailed work, you can't do it. I hope this version is um, better. For the better demonstration, I will just run a single prompt in a research mode, uh, not the research mode actually, research mode is a bit tough. Um, so uh, it's a normal mode, like whatever it prefers and see how it responds. So, so in here, I'm using three of them. Like for example, Cloud, ChatGPT, and Gemini, three of them, and all of them are premium version, and I'm not distinguishing any sort of difference in here. So I will ask it a simple question. The computational kind of simple Opus 4.5, simple. for the scientific focus like i'm just running it and see how it works and it's in extended thinking mode is on i'm not going into research for immediate update pubmed is on hugging face is on whatever it do just search it i'm not asking it question i'm asking it to gen interaction graphs also let's see how it does simultaneously i'm asking similar question for here and for here it's in thinking mode so all of them are in thinking mode Let's see. 
what it does. And I will compare each of these parts separate individually so that we are unbiased by the parameters that's been shown in here. So Gemini is faster, genetic players, well she's all part of our group so I keep her, let's keep it down, okay let's Let's just use Nella Banana to sorry. Well, one thing is that it looks like so Opus 4.5 is going automatically um, into the kind of a research mode, which is a good thing. It has the capacity now to think mm, now from the context. Okay, the mass of browsing is okay. ChatGPT is doing its job. It looks good, right? Hmm? Mechanisms. Two to fifty-three. Well, it's giving the papers also. It also give paper, right? No, I don't see any. So, well, it isn't. That's not I'm expecting it. It's a good writing, no doubt. Oh, this is such a good writing. Oh, it looks like it has done some. Let me just do it in here in my code. Let me see if it works. Does it generate? Okay, kind of a pathway. This is from the chat GPT. It looks not bad. But it's so condensed and not up to the mark for publication. So let me go back. I can't. Good. It's taking a lot of time. Probably got so much into the thought. I don't know. Let's see. We all are talking about the agentic research capacity, capability of LLM models, and how those are affecting us. But in simple word, you can see the limitations of each model works differently. And their effects and overall how this is working. So I don't see it works. It is still thinking. No. figures. Yeah, that's I struggled a lot with it. 
it's still doing. Well, if you take time, that's fine. If the quality is improved, that's also fine. So. Let me ask. Doesn't look like. Fighting with this. Okay. It's generating figures here. Yeah. Well, it's doing in here, it's good. And you can download it. If you generated the figure, you need to get let it download. Okay, it works. It's close to the Jupyter notebook. Germany, it's hard. Come on, man, don't take the whole days. Well, it got to the, it went to the authentic mode and you can see the figure. Okay, let me just open it in a little bit and see. Mutational pattern and step of an authentic on this figure. Okay, okay. I'm not sure what this stuff that's doing, but it's, it's not bad that I can say. It being, okay, okay. Horrible writing, a lot of spelling error. That's why I don't have to make it that one. What about this? Oh man, it's writing, writing, writing. I don't know, I'm going to land. Come on, man, I don't want to go into white. Let me just go into post mode. Uh, it looks like that it has finally finished up the work. And you can see that um, it has quite a main document for PDF. And quite a document. I don't know what is this, but okay. Let me just download and check it out. If it's still any work, okay. Doesn't look bad. Well, it went to the full autonomous agent mode that I can see. I'm not going to check everything in details, but. What I'm interested is, okay, it has documentation in here, which itself looks reasonably not so, so, so bad, but looks, okay, just to tell our mutant, all the mutation, epigenetic modulator, well, one of the major thing in here is to check the validity of the data. So apoptosis, Vax, Puma, cell cycle, P21, the CDK, and one It looks interesting. Well, it can pass to the markers. Let me just check out a couple of references. Six, it starts with six, that's horrible. Yeah, I give access to my file for that, so. I don't know what to say. Well, it got the right one. Just a couple of them. Out of 15, it's showing from six, so I'm not impressed about that.
a less dumb with all of them. So this figure looks comparatively better. Activation, inhibition, modulation. Not bad actually. Well, respective of it took the highest time, but I think the out of all outputs, this one looks most, most impressive. I would say even it took the highest time, the J24.5 was is compared to other AI models, specifically Chat GPT and Gemini, it's performing far better. So I would say congratulations to the team. It looks opus 4.5 looks. Better. Thanks.